Okay, so this one we're going to do a size down. You want to use your true size mandrel. Uh, let's see, we are a six. Let's do a five and three quarter. You want to pay attention when you're using a mandrel and you put the ring on it. You want to pay attention to where the ring is falling because that's going to determine where you're going to cut your ring with the saw. So I'm going to go down a quarter of a size. <clears throat> so I'm going to grab my marker size here. I'm going to find the quarter. I like to hold it in my hand. I'm just going to score a little mark. You only want to do this one time. You don't want to have multiple lines on your ring. And now I'm going to cut with my saw. I'm cutting the other mark. You have two marks on here. Two little lines. Have it cut. Now I need to close in this little gap. Now I'm going to use my ring forming pliers to bend the ring shank to close the gap. These are bending the shank in so that we can close that gap because you want a nice flush closed joint. Get it as close as you can. Now we're going to just kind of tap on it, close the gap, there we go, gap's closed. You want to coat your piece in a boric and alcohol solution to prevent fire scale. Remember to stir the solution thoroughly because they tend to separate. Grab my ring, coat it, I'm going to place it in the tweezer, light the torch. Light it. Now we're going to use a hard solder when you're doing a sizing. A little trick, if you're having trouble picking up your solder, you can dip the tip of your pick in boric acid and it'll make it a little stickier to help pick up the solder. We're going to add a little drop of flux to help our solder flow. When you heat up your ring, you heat up both sides evenly because the solder is going to want to tend to flow to the side that's the hottest. You don't, want to, you don't need to go real fast. Just slowly heat it up and then we're going to drop our little solder on there. And there we go. You want to make sure that the solder has flowed all the way through. So I'm just going to take it out here and I'm going to check it. Make sure that it flowed all the way through. The pickle is going to remove the fire coating that's on the piece. Just let that sit in there a few minutes. I'm going to take it out. We're going to remove the, the little lump of solder on the inside. Smooth it out with a 320 grit. So I'm, I'm smoothing out the inside, the solder on the inside. You want to use a steel mandrel when rounding out using light pressure with a nylon hammer. You don't want to see no daylight. You want to use an aluminum mandrel when checking the size, making sure that the ring is falling right above the line because you still have to polish it. Okay, so I'm just going to smooth out the little um, high spots using the file. Always going in one direction. Okay, you always want to go with the shank, never across. Okay, by going across, like on the solder joint, like that, you can cause a dip. 230 grit. 
it's gonna smooth the metal a lot quicker seeing just a couple passes. Now we're gonna go with a higher grit for a smoother finish. Ready for a polish. There you have it. See the description below for the links to purchase the tools featured in this video and check out the full schedule of hands-on trainings offered at Stellar.